Hey everyone, Mike Phillips from Museotech here, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how you can record MIDI CC automation into Pro Tools from any basic MIDI fader. You don't have to have a control surface, you don't have to use some special software to MIDI translate. Um, you can use any basic MIDI controller that just outputs standard MIDI. So the first thing is, you need to make sure that the fader is seen. So if I go to Setup here under MIDI, we can go to MIDI Input Devices. And I already have a fader set up. I make a fader called the Fader Presidential and it's plugged in and you can see it's already checkmarked. So that's the only pre-setup you need to do to make sure the fader is seen by Pro Tools. And this is Pro Tools Ultimate, by the way, if anybody cares. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add a MIDI track. And we come here to where it says Clips and let's suppose I wanted to automate the volume. Well, it's right there. Now you need to know that volume is on MIDI CC channel number seven. Um, it doesn't tell you there, but it is. Um, you can look it up on the internet what all the different um, MIDI controllers numbers are. But anyway, here's volume. And then on my MIDI fader, I've already set up an output for CC number seven. And I'm not showing you that because your basic MIDI fader is going to be different than mine. So whatever MIDI fader you have, you need to make sure that you're outputting to uh, CC number seven, which I've already done and you can't see it on the video because again, I'm not trying to um, show you my faders. I'm trying to show you this with any faders. Okay, so that's the setup. Now all I need to do is hit record enable and I'll arm the track. And as soon as I start recording here, I can move my MIDI fader, which again is set up to CC number seven externally, which you cannot see. And you can see, yeah, there it is. So I'm actually recording volume into Pro Tools from a standard basic MIDI fader. And I'll hit stop. Now you might tell me, well, okay, that's fine, but you know, some libraries um, use other CC numbers. Well, they don't give you a lot in this little list, so let me show you fresh on a new track. So once again, I'm gonna to go to track, and I'm gonna to go to new, and we'll go ahead and add again a, another MIDI track here. So there it is, and we go to the track selector, that's what that's called, it's normally set to clips. You click right there, and if you want something beyond volume or pan, or a couple of the ones listed here, you can go to controllers. And here's where you can pick from, again, a, a, a little short list of standard ones. There's five here. Or here where it says Add Remove Controllers, you can do absolutely any controller at all, um, any CC number at all. So let me show you one of these. So I'm going to go ahead and pick, let's say, Breath Control. So now this MIDI track will be listening for output on CC number two. And again, you can't see it in the video, but my basic MIDI fader does have a fader set to um, CC number two. So I'll go ahead and record arm the track, uh, and I'll go ahead and record arm the whole thing, and here we go. So I'm gonna hit record, and now I know you can't see it, but again, I have my basic MIDI fader, a different fader, um, outputting on CC number two. Okay, now what if you want to do absolutely any MIDI CC number and record it? Okay, we can do that as well. So I'm going to go into track, new again. Once again, let's set this to MIDI track. And this time I'm going to click on the track selector. And if you go down to controllers, if you want to use anything beyond these little five ones, uh, five of these here, you just go to add remove controllers and you get a whole huge list. Now it's not every single CC, there's ranges. And I don't know why certain CC numbers are excluded, but they are. Anyway, you get a ton of them. So if I wanted to do anything in the range of one to 31, I pick that, or 33 to 63 and so forth. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, select this one. And let's say I have um, a library, a string library or something that uses vibrato, and let's say it could be CC number 19, or maybe it's 21. So I'll do 21 here. And you do need to add this over. 
If you forget this step, if you don't hit add, what I'm about to show you will not work. So I'm going to go ahead and hit add, and you can see there it is, and I'll hit OK. Annoyingly, it does not show up automatically like when we pick the other ones. So there is one more step. You need to click there again and go back to controllers. And then there's our CC number 21. And the reason why it says undefined, by the way, is because it's showing you the industry standard names. So it's not going to show you, you know, tremolo or vibrato or whatever. It's just going to show you the CC number. And in the MIDI industry, in the music industry, number 21 is not defined. So that's why it says undefined. So I'll go ahead and select 21. And now this particular track is listening for MIDI CC number 21. And again, you can't see it, but on my MIDI fader, out of view of the video, I have a track, uh, I have a fader set up to output on CC number 21. So your uh, basic MIDI fader will need to be set up to output to whatever number you're trying to do. And I've already done that. So, and that's going to be different for every, you know, basic MIDI fader. That's why I'm not showing it. I'm not trying to teach you my faders. I'm trying to teach you, you know, any fader. So... All right, and then the rest of the process is the same. We just uh, um, arm the track, and we come up here again and hit the record button here. And I've already set up one of my faders to be CC number 21, which matches 21 here. So as soon as I start recording, again, you can record to almost any CC number. So anyway, gang, I hope this has been helpful for you. Uh, it took me a lot of hours to figure all this out. I'm really a logic guy, but you know I know Pro Tools is super popular. So uh, let me know in the comments if if you have any other questions, and I might do another video and try to answer another question if somebody has one, possibly. All right. So thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.